It looks like uBlock Origin Lite is no longer available in the Mozilla like extension store or add-on store. Um, basically, uh, they ran into this issue uh, where Mozilla was falsely flagging all of their uh, extension submissions to the store as like not being privacy respecting, having no privacy policy, having like AI generated code. All sorts of weird warnings that uh, the author of uBlock Origin Light totally denied and was like, no, this is ridiculous that Mozilla basically delisted every version of the app except for the very first one for some reason. They kept the old version on, but with a warning on it. So it was a weird situation there where people were potentially uh, at risk of not being able to update or that kind of thing. Uh, I guess if you don't know the difference, uBlock Origin Light is the manifest V3 version of uBlock Origin, which is a bit more limited and uses new browser APIs to block things rather than the way that traditional uBlock Origin works. And uh, Mozilla eventually like admitted that this was a mistake and they accepted it back. But because of like all of this drama that was going on that uh, the developer of uBlock Origin essentially thought that it didn't really warrant a response. So he made the decision to delist it from the store himself. So it's no longer available on the Mozilla extension store. Uh, it's just available from like a self-hosted installer. So that's the way to get uBlock Origin light now. It doesn't affect uBlock Origin users at all. So um, I don't think there were a lot of users of it on Firefox in the first place, most likely, because there isn't really a good reason to use it over the existing uBlock Origin extension. Um, for the most part, unless you're in a browser that you're forced to like um, Chrome uh, requiring manifest B3, that kind of thing. So I don't think it's going to be a huge deal for people, but um, as this article on ghex.net that Jordan sent us points out at the bottom, um, a lot of these mistakes and like these automated review processes are made by machines and by like machine learning, AI, that kind of thing. And it wouldn't surprise me that like Mozilla is probably getting more into automating all this kind of stuff. It's going to make more mistakes. It's going to affect other extension developers. It's kind of just a mess um, in this review process because it prevents open source developers like this from from releasing apps and extensions that a lot of people use. And it's important that these updates get out. So it's, uh, to me, it's kind of crazy that there isn't like a human review process or anything like that. It's very not obvious. You, you, you had to make like a big public complaint about the issue and, and leave the store entirely in order to get a response from Mozilla and get it fixed, um, a mistake that was ultimately on their end. So it's, Pretty much just drama, I think. But at the end of the day, you've like Origin Light isn't going to be available on the Mozilla store anymore. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I guess in defense of Mozilla, I feel like this happens all the time with Apple and Google with the app stores. Um, right. So it seems like just. I think it's equally ridiculous with them. They, yeah, they, I what I. This is my problem with Mozilla. Okay. Let me come back, back here for a second. Mozilla is constantly moving in the direction of. Apple and Google, exactly like this, in so many different ways. And that should not be their goal. It's very clear to me, I think, that Mozilla really wants to be a big tech company, but that is not what anyone wants from Mozilla. They need to be diverging in the opposite direction and get back to their roots. And I think that I, I've seen more comparisons to Apple and Google when it comes to Mozilla in like recent years than have ever been had before, and that is very problematic yeah. to me. No, it's very fair. <laughs> it's not good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess it's tough. I, I I don't know if I have like the right to like on my end. I just I just feel weird thinking about like, well, what direction should Mozilla go? I feel like it's kind of their choice what direction they want to go. And I, I just don't understand. I don't even understand the direction they're going, to be honest. Right. Because I I agree. It seems like they're doing a lot of things that like more big tech companies would do. But then they'll randomly do something that totally goes against that. And I go, oh, so no, dot, dot, dot. I don't know. Like I, I just, they're, they're just a weird organization and it's, it's just hard to really justify a lot of the decisions they make, but people like Firefox, I guess. Yeah, it is nice. And th that is the nice thing about Firefox in this story, especially because uh, if the setup on Chrome, for example, there's really no, recourse. But the fact that um, the developer is able to self-host an installer um, on That's their cool. own so that people can still get this update is um, 
are really huge benefit of Firefox. There's a lot of things that Firefox has going for it that uh, it's just a shame that Mozilla constantly does a lot of other unrelated things that kind of mess with that whole brand. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. This is actually a highlight from our main channel, TechLore, where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, and how you can have a better relationship with technology. So if you want the full length experience, definitely check out our main channel, TechLore. We'll leave a link somewhere on the screen, wherever our editor puts it, and you can probably check it down in the description as well.